Hello and welcome to the video. This is just a very quick update to let you know that there has been a new script released from RC DIY. Now we spoke about RC DIY a while ago. It's one of the people that we support via Patreon and it's a guy that's a lovely chap actually and he spends a lot of time dealing with the community and has been working on putting some Lua scripts together. Now for those of you that don't know what a Lua script is, these are the things that run on the Toronto's radio and if you turn on your radio and go to create a new model and you have that bit where all of the four model types appear at the bottom of the screen, that is actually a Lua script. Now Lua scripts are about to get a little bit more exciting with the imminent release of OpenTX 2.2 because OpenTX 2.2 will allow us to have two-way telemetry so we can set up and configure things and change stuff here on the radio and have that sent up to the model itself. So think about doing things like actively changing PIDs on flight controllers, changing the settings on things like stabilization units like the S6R and those bits and pieces too. But this all came about, this new script that we're talking about, which is actually a lap timer, came about from this gentleman here. Uh, Brian asked me five months ago if I knew about how to handle lap times. Now, lap timing is something that's been the odd script floating around, but the challenge with Tyrannus is it really only counts in seconds. And if you want to count in less than a second, you need to have a Lua script running. So it's something I asked RC DIY about and it's been published. So here you can see I noticed that it was around, I got it on my Patreon feed and here is the link to actually download it. Now what I'll do is I'll put a link in the description if you're interested in downloading it and having a go. So I just want to say a big thank you for Brian for the idea and especially big thank you to RC DIY for actually putting a request from the community into practice. Thank you for taking the time to watch that video. There are lots of other videos on the channel and they're carefully ordered into playlists. So you may find that there are other videos on this same subject that you can go and watch. So I would recommend going into the playlist area of Painless360 YouTube channel and looking around and seeing what there is. You never know what you might find. Thanks for watching. Please like, subscribe and happy flying.